Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. New information coming out in the crash that killed all three family members on board on Saturday. Investigators have removed the wreckage from the scene. The NTSB will now take a look at all that evidence to begin their investigation. The family who lives in that home still in disbelief. When the plane hit the home, it engulfed in flames on an entire side of the house, destroying the kids' bedrooms. They had just woken up from a nap about a half an hour before the crash. David and Michelle Campo were killed in the crash along with their 18-year-old son, Dawson. Well, there are some changes to this year's NCAA men's basketball tournament because of the pandemic. All 68 teams will participate, with most of the games being held at multiple venues in Indianapolis. Most of the teams will stay in hotels connected to the Indiana Convention Center. Teams will stay on dedicated floors, and a limited number of family members will be able to watch the games. Selection Sunday is still set for March 14th, and the Final Four happening on April 3rd and 5th. Detroit police searching for the thieves who stole catalytic converters from buses used to transport seniors. The thefts happened early Monday morning on the 200 block of McDougal near Jefferson on the east side. An employee arrived at work and heard a loud noise. Three men then fled in a red Buick rendezvous with tinted windows. Twelve vehicles were damaged. If you happen to know anything about the thefts, call Detroit police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Well, the clouds that we got today are going to be around all week. I put a little bit of sunshine on Saturday, but I'm not even sure about that. The most interesting part about the whole forecast is late tonight and tomorrow. There could be a little drizzle. There could be a few flurries. It's a very slight chance, but that would just add to the moisture. So with lows below the freezing mark the next several mornings, just make sure you're ready for a few slippery spots.